Hello and welcome back YouTube. It's not every day that you discover that you may know something about X58 that Tech Yes City Brian doesn't, and when that happens, internet law dictates that, that knowledge must be shared. So let the sharing commence. Now we're going to cut here to Brian, the master of all things x58, running Windows on an x58 dual socket Mac Pro workstation. This specific system was one that he was running with dual x5650 Xeons, which are regarded as fantastic overclockers. But these days at stock clocks are fairly slow. And as a result, the gaming performance on these does suffer a bit. This system, like most workstations, has no native support for overclocking, and a quick attempt at using XTU to do any CPU tuning resulted in an abject failure. So performance tuning was game over, right? But what if it isn't? What if it was just the wrong hardware and software combination? Enter the Xeon W3680, a 6-core, 12-thread legend of a CPU that I thankfully don't have to do a thorough video on because Random Gaming in HD recently did one. I'll leave a link to that in the description. What I will say about this chip, though, is that unlike the E and X5000 SKUs of Xeons, this particular W series chip has an unlocked multiplier, which will come in handy in a little bit. Now we're going to jump over to Cinebench where, courtesy of some speed ramping in the edit, we'll establish performance baselines on this chip. Seven eighty-five in multi-core is acceptable enough for a chip of this age and at this price point. and 107 is heaps better than an X5650 will do, but it's still a pretty dismal score. This is where the magic is going to happen. We're going to head over to an app called Throttle Stop by Tech Power Up, which was originally intended for tuning Intel-based laptops, but is gracious enough to allow tuning of any unlocked multiplier Intel CPU from the Core 2 family onwards. We will use this to set some turbo multipliers that any system on the planet should be able to lock in with this chip. Go ahead and lock them in and head over to retest. Firing up Cinebench once again, and we do see a sizable improvement in multi-core. But an even more dramatic improvement in single core, to a level that becomes almost useful. The improvement also carries over to more representative benchmarks, with the Firestrike physics test also receiving a performance boost. I'll even overlay the frame counter from the before on the after here so we can actually get a direct head-to-head. -head. Now of course this channel isn't called Does It Synthetic, so we have to test this in an actual game. Our game of choice is going to be Valorant running at 1080p and just standing in the training mode in this doorway here, shooting these drones repeatedly for about three minutes. Once again, we see that we get a measurable boost here, particularly to the 1 and 0.1% lows, which will show up in actual games. Now, of course, free performance does come with some caveats. This trick here does only work with a handful of CPUs of which the W3680 is really the only one worth buying in current market conditions. That handful of CPUs also means that it requires a system board that will boot a single QPI chip, meaning that for workstations it'll work on something like a Dell Precision T3500 or HP Z400, but not the larger T5500 or HP Z600. However, this does work with all Chinese X58 boards available on AliExpress. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one.